We're back, and my family is here with us. And another development this year is Josh. You and I have started doing a podcast called Family Trips with the Myers Brothers. And yeah. It's been a delight. The nicest part about it for me is we get to spend uh, an hour each week talking with each other. Um, here's a, you guys were guests on the show. Yep. Uh, which is very fun. Here's a photo we have of you guys. Um, and uh, this is a really, this is a great picture. I showed this to uh, my boys and Ash said, what happened to them? <laughs> <laughs> Now, uh, do you feel, we talk about you guys a lot on this podcast, because we're talking about family trips with our guests, and then ultimately hours come out. Do you feel as though you're being accurately portrayed when Josh and I talk about you on the podcast? I don't know. I don't get that thing about we spill water everywhere. Yeah. Josh, do you want to say what happens when they come to your house? The kitchen is soaked. <laughs> Constantly. They, they, the sink, the coffee maker, the, I mean, like, we did redo the kitchen a couple years ago, and it used to be small tiles, and yeah, now... Yeah, it used to be everything was on an angle. <laughs> well, now we can at least just, like, wipe everything into the sink, which is a, a godsend. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, they're, uh... Now, Dad, you'll admit you spill. I, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that coming a mile away. <laughs> yeah. So did I. Guess who, guess who didn't? <laughs> 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 right now, my mom's going, oh, my God, the spill. I didn't see that oh. Oh. <laughs> but, uh, What are you doing in the studio? Yeah. <laughs> Where's that nice picture we had of him? What the, oh, yeah, so this is... How recent is this picture? Two days ago? All right, so two days ago, uh, jo you spill everything you drink. So this is, you, oh, you got a beer and then immediately spill. Yeah, I did. <laughs> That's not, the spilling's not the part that really troubles me, but I come off in these things very often as being very temperamental. <laughs> yeah. You tell a story about me wanting to destroy a table, which I don't remember the incident. I don't doubt that I wanted to destroy it, but... <laughs> you bumped uh, into a coffee table in a Florida hotel lobby. And then when it happened, you raised a fist up and started screaming at the table. And then when we got in an elevator, in a silent lobby, because everyone was looking at you, mom said, why would you do that? And you said, it hurt me. I wanted to hurt it. Yeah. I, 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 an emotion absolutely true. I just don't remember that incident. Uh, uh, you were in a fugue state of uh, that, rage. That might have been it. That might have been it. But yeah, so I, I think, but th this is the, what's important about what you guys remember about us. Not, not the spelling, which is more recent. Um, but um, the, the thing is, what it shows you is that your kids are paying attention to every stupid thing you do. <laughs> And you'd never know which stupid thing you do is going to stick with them, you know, well into later life. And so, uh, I, I, and you never know. And so it appears that we did plenty of stupid stuff. Yeah. And that you remembered every single piece of nonsense yeah. that we did. I was driving uh, the other day and uh, Ash had a friend in the back seat. And I, uh, Axel, the five-year-old, was being irritating, and I was getting angry in the car. And it was the most heartbreaking thing, because Ash, I heard Ash say to his friend, he's like, oh, watch my dad, he's about to lose it, it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> and then you realize, like, oh, it's so ineffective. Like, the way I react is so ineffective that it's already, like, a comedy show. <laughs> When I got angry, it was effective. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we I, remember. For some reason, they're not afraid of me at all. Yeah. Um, uh, one of the nice things about the podcast is at the end of each episode, Josh, you uh, write a song based on the interview of the guest, and you then sing and record a song that is sort of an Easter egg uh, for people who listen all the way through. Yeah, so it's, it's, a, it's a known song. It'll be sort of a karaoke version of a song that I, I tweak the lyrics. Um, and... Uh, and yeah, so I, I feel like it's a gift to the pr people who came on to the podcast. I don't think a lot of people who are guests on podcasts then listen to that podcast. Yeah. Um, so we have started sending out an email that's like, hey, in case you're not listening, maybe you want to listen to this. But like Timothy Oliphant called you. Yeah. Uh, Amy Poehler told you personally. Yeah, like, they, like their they like their songs. They like their songs. Very nice. I wrote a song for the Hyam sisters. I still haven't heard yeah. whether or not they liked it. They're but, musicians. Uh, so. They're musicians, so I felt like I needed to elevate it. Yeah. Um, and Probably it was, not a great sign that you haven't heard from. I haven't heard from them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But we're not, we don't have each other's info. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, um, did you guys I, have a favorite guest that we've had so far? 
I thought um, Leslie Jones was pretty good. Leslie Jones is pretty good. Pretty good. And yeah. then you had to do the disclaimer about the language. Yes. She does get a... <laughs> we do want it to be uh, the sort of podcast you can listen to with your family in the car, with some exceptions. Yes. But yeah. that song was so good because she good. described a, a Marriott that she went to that was like a built castle. Built like a castle, yeah. Built like a castle. So then she does the song from Miserable, the castle in the clouds. I mean, who it, would think Leslie Jones a Miserable song? I yeah. mean, it was just. It was a nice fit. It yeah. was a great fit, yeah. Dad, do you have a favorite up? Our episode was yeah. really good. <laughs> uh, it was, yeah, it was really, what was the song for us? Mm. Jack and Diane. Jack and Diane. Yeah. Jack and Diane. Yeah. yeah. That's us. Uh, and <laughs> the crazy kids doing the best that we can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what we're doing anymore. I, uh, I'm also very excited. We are uh, what we do annual trip as well. We're going to go to Pittsburgh. We're going to hope the Steelers' office is better. We're going to record an episode at an Airbnb there, a special episode with uh, where we're going to let our listeners ask you guys questions. Uh, so that's going to be a lot of fun. And this, we've done it. Ten years, you guys. Yeah. Well yeah. done. Thanks. We'll be right back with more late night.